broadband in space. One day your internet might come from space. In late February 2018, SpaceX launched the PAZ radar imaging satellite for a Spanish government satellite operator. Also on board were two of their demo satellites, dubbed Microsat 2A and Microsat 2B. SpaceX chief Elon Musk called them Tintin A and B in a tweet. Those are part of the company's planned Starlink broadband satellite network. Reportedly, that will comprise a mesh network of around 12,000 satellites orbiting the Earth. This would provide internet to regions needing it the most. However, it could also put SpaceX in competition with telecom companies. And who knows, maybe SpaceX will also offer a free Mars trip via Tesla Roadster. Above Earth Zombie satellite found by amateur stargazer. A zombie was found in space last weekend. A zombie satellite, that is. Scott Tilley received a signal from a spacecraft number 2000-017A-26113. That's NASA's missing image satellite. After being launched in 2000 by the space agency, the satellite was thought to be long gone after scientists lost contact with it in 2005. The satellite was sent into space to investigate Earth's magnetosphere, the space around our planet controlled by our planetary magnetic field. NASA is now reportedly working around the clock with old software in a bid to communicate with the zombie satellite. Maybe John Constantine can help. Sayonara, space junk. NASA has awarded $50,000 for the development of an innovative new spacecraft that promises to get rid of orbital trash. Space debris in the form of spent rocket parts, old satellites, shrapnel, and other items are accumulating around Earth's orbit, which may make collisions more common. To address this issue, NASA is looking into the BrainCraft, a light three foot by three foot spacecraft that's thinner than human hair. When deployed, the BrainCraft moves toward a piece of debris and wraps itself around the item. It then fires its thrusters and pushes back toward Earth. The spacecraft eventually lowers itself and the debris down to the atmosphere, where both are incinerated. The BrainCraft is intended to be light and cheap enough that it can be sacrificed at the end of a cleaning mission but it may also have other applications beyond just collecting trash. The spacecraft is extremely fuel efficient, making it fully capable of traveling long distances, perhaps to explore and mine asteroids or other space rocks. Largest ever fleet of satellites will keep a constant eye on Earth. Satellite images of every place on Earth taken every single day will move one step closer to reality this week when these satellites are launched into space. A San Francisco startup named Planet plans to launch the largest fleet of satellites in history aboard a rocket from India. The 88 Dove imaging satellites will be deployed at an approximate altitude of 500 kilometers on a sun-synchronous orbit. That means they will pass over any given point on the Earth's surface at the same local solar time. Combined with 12 Dove satellites already in space, 100 satellites in total will fly north to south as the Earth rotates beneath them to form a line scanner constellation of satellites. If the launch is successful, Planet expects to capture daily images of the entire Earth. The solar-powered Dove satellites weigh about 4 kilograms each and are equipped with a series of optics and sensors. These include a main camera that can capture images at 3 to 5 meter resolution. The shoebox-sized satellites will continually photograph the surface of the Earth and complete an orbit approximately every 90 minutes. Planet recently acquired Google's Terra Bella satellite business, including its seven high-resolution SkySat satellites. The SkySat satellites are about the size of a cubicle mini-refrigerator. They can capture 90-centimeter resolution images in color and near-infrared. Orbital Reflector will be first space sculpture. The world could have a whole new reason to look up at the sky if artist Trevor Paglin has his way. The Orbital Reflector space sculpture is a satellite that will serve no military, commercial, or scientific purpose. Constructed from lightweight material similar to Mylar, it will be launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket scheduled for early 2018. Once in orbit at a height of approximately 350 miles, a 100-foot-long diamond-shaped balloon will deploy from the satellite. The balloon will reflect sunlight back to Earth, causing the CubeSat to be visible to the naked eye. It will stay in space for about two months. Paglin and the museum are looking to raise 1.3 million U.S. dollars for the project through Kickstarter. 
They currently have 60% of the funds needed. Hey, if you're going to do it, might as well do it all the way.